and welcome along and welcome to the old farm countryside. Uh, we are starting a brand new series. So as you can see, there is no farmyard here. This is where the farmyard would normally be. Um, that is because we are doing a start from scratch series. So absolutely starting with completely nothing except for £500,000. And that's it. Uh, so the first thing we need to do. Uh, we're gonna, now, I have a theory, and I've been discussing this in my Metagrove series uh, recently, that we can do start from scratch without contracts straight off the bat if we rent our equipment and buy our land. So that is the method we're going to do here. We want to look at what land is ready to harvest. So, for example, field 22 is ready to harvest. Field 22 has barley in it. So that would be a good place for us to start. 43, 44, 52, 41... 18 oh there's a nice clump here around the lime station so there's several fields on this map uh that are all great for us to start on uh, so let's have a look at some field prices so to buy the main yard here is 134,000. um 14 and 15 is 477 so that's almost all of our money gone straight up i want to get two or three fields so 21 and 22, again, would be almost all of our money. So, oh, what I want to do. 31 is ready to harvest. What is in 31? 31 is wheat. So that would be a good purchase for us straight off the bat. 164,000, nice cheap field ready to do. Uh, so we are going to buy that. Yes. Uh, and what I want to do, actually... Is we've got plant, we're gonna have plant withering off and we're gonna have plant growth to normal, so that's fine. Uh, just, just to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Uh, so we want to have a look and see if there's another field that we can buy. We still have a load of money left, so uh, other stuff that is ready to uh, do 43, 44, 52. What is in 52? 52 is barley, 52 would cost us 418. Wow. We need 35 is another good candidate. 35 has canola in it. 35 is not ready. 33 is. Uh, 33 has oats in it. Uh, and would be 180. Absolutely. So we will also buy 33. So how much money do we have left? Uh, we have 154,000. So if we can find one more field... That is 100, uh, 154,000 or less. Uh, we're good. I think we're going to be pushing it though. Yeah, even even field four is 162. So I think I think for the moment, what we might do then, and I don't mind doing this early on, getting a third field because three fields is always a good uh, base to start from. I am going to borrow uh, 100,000 because we've got no loan at the moment. So let's borrow ourselves 100,000, which should be enough to get us established. Uh, and then we want to buy one more field. And we're looking for something that is ready to do. Uh, as I said, I think 28 and 27. Uh, that's too much. That's too much. We have 254. We want to be, we want something about 200,000. 180 for field 16. Not ready to harvest though. 17 and 18. No. So it is at the moment, it is a case of kind of just going around and trying to find ourselves that elusive final field. Field 5. 233,000 would leave us only 20,000 to get our equipment. Field four, there we go, 168,000. So we will buy field four as well. So our fields are a little bit dotted around the map, um, but we do have some good stuff to start with. So I want a medium sized combine harvester. We are going to be renting our combine here uh, and looking at the medium sized stuff. We could get a class, we do have one of those somewhere else, a TC590. Let's go and have a look at the fields we've got first. So. We have got this field over here. We don't have anywhere to actually store our equipment, but we may be able to sell. Uh, we may be able to buy some more space for that. Maybe put something on the side of the field. A uh, reasonably sized field we've got. So uh, I think we want to, yeah, we do want a reasonably sized combine for this. 
Looking at our mod combines, we have a Alexian 760, uh, 780. So I think we're medium size there. Oh, these are these are very American combines. Those ones. Uh, so those really are our choices. Uh, the ideal is massively expensive. I think if we go for the 760, the class uh, Lexian 760, that would cost us 16,000 uh, to rent that. Uh, it's got a decent sized grain tank on it. It's got an 11,000 uh, litre grain tank on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, we don't want to worry about the designs. We don't want to worry about the numbers or anything. Uh, we will put GPS on it. And uh, that, I think, is going to do us quite nicely to start off with. So, we are going to lease a combine. So, we're leasing the combine. Uh, and then we want to go and lease ourselves a header as well. So, this is, this is where the risk is. Is that we're going to be leasing our equipment. Now, that is for the 760. So, that one there is for the combine that we have. So we're going to lease this as well. No customizations on that. And then we need a header trailer for it as well. Now, do we, we do have some class header trailers? That one actually would do quite nicely, I think. Yeah, I like that one. So we'll try that. The alternative is that. Now that goes... I don't know how big those Quattro 40s are, but... I'm going to try this one, I think. Uh, I, I prefer one that, that isn't a dolly trailer. So we're going to lease that as well. There we go. So let's get our combine started. Now, I thought I'd turn automatic engine start off. Apparently, I haven't. Uh, oh, we want to... Yeah, all of our helper refuels and everything are off as well. So we'll save at that point and go back. And we'll get this combine up to our field. Because we need to get started. So, back up and cutter. So we still have 66,000. Um, what we do need to do is we do need to get a good all-rounder tractor. And that is the next thing we're going to be looking at. Now, it's going to have to be cheap because, as I said, we've only got 66000 left. I want to try and borrow money as little as possible. So, we've already got a £100,000 loan. Wow. This, yeah, this cutter trailer. Not going to cut it for this, I don't think. I'll cut it for this. We'll try it. But I would prefer... Yeah, look at how far that is under there. That is not going to do that, is it? We could do it with the tractor, but we're not going to do it with this. So, there is our first mistake. We're going to return that cutter trailer. So, return that. That is for a much smaller combine. Uh, and then we're going to lease one of these. Oh, no. Nope details so yeah that should take the header not a massive amount we've lost from the leasing there but uh, enough for me to go ah that's not great so let's get our combine and now we've actually made things a little bit harder for ourselves because obviously our header trailer has spawned the wrong way around for us to get at it easily. Now the next question is, which of our three trailers, our three fields, is riper? This is actually a bigger combine than I'd initially expected. So that's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm quite pleased that we've, uh, we've hired a combine or leased a combine that is going to get jobs done fairly quickly. We just need to make sure that we make more money when we use this combine than we uh, than we lose from it. And that's part of the reason why we've got three fields. We want to purchase fields as quickly as possible. And expand the farm as quickly as possible. Because our daily low leasing costs are going to be huge. Are going to be absolutely massive. We'll turn the lines off. 
And what we'll do is we'll go and start this cutting. And once we've done that, we will head back and do that. So the closest field to us is actually field... Ooh, uh, I think if we go out of here and north, we should be able to get out of the town fairly easily. Uh, and we can either head north to field 4 or south to field 31. I think we'll head to 31 because we can then move to 33 after that. But it's quite a... Whoa, that is a housing estate. Okay, we're going the right way now. I discovered that I should have turned left instead of right out of the shop. Uh, so that's all good. Um, <laughs> getting out of the town was a little bit of a muddle. Uh, we are going to... So as I said, we're going to have to buy ourselves the yard at some point. I'm tempted to... Well, we got, as I said, we've got 66,000. I think we'll see where we are after this first set of crops. Um, it would be really useful because we're going to sell these first three fields. We will sell straight away uh, the crops from them. Uh, I think what we will do, we're going to have to get a baler as well. But what we'll do uh, is we'll take them and we will um, <coughs> we'll go and earn ourselves uh, the money off them. We'll, we'll bail up the uh the crops as well uh at least two of them i think i think we got we got barley on this field here we got wheat on the other so that's going to require more equipment so it really is a case of we pick stuff up as we need it just to try and keep our leasing costs down now we've got a nice entrance way in here we will use this yard even though it's not ours at the moment so there we go Drop our header off. Let's unfold the combine while we're here. So we want a trailer that will take 22,000 litres of, uh, of crop. Combine is on. Down with the header. There we go. Cut our way in. And there we are. So decent sized field. We've got a decent sized combine on it. Um, quite pleased with our choice of combine here. This will uh, this will cut through stuff fairly quickly, which is what we need. Uh, we need a combine that is going to cut fairly quickly because every hour we use this costs us quite a bit of money, and uh, and that's that's our biggest worry is that we want to try and keep our head above water as much as possible. And having three fields straight off with crops in them is exactly what we're targeting with that. Is targeting this whole thing of uh, trying to keep the money flowing and keep the money going. So it's one of these things where we may see if we can, um, may see if we can get some missions, uh, some contracts uh, that we can do with this as well at the same time. Because if we can do that, then we're going to keep our heads above water. It's it's all about the money management uh, with what we're doing at the moment. With the hope that eventually we will earn enough money to, uh, to actually buy our equipment. But early doors, early stages, let's build our farm up. Let's get a large farm sorted and then we can go from there. And this, this is the thing we've got as well. Is that we're in a position where uh, without doing this uh, without sort of hiring uh, with, by hiring and buying land we're always uh, we can always get rid of the equipment quickly uh, and you know it's, it's about I think it's somewhere between 30 and 40 hours of us using this combine uh, it will cost the same as if we bought this combine um, which tells you quite a bit um, uh, we're 28% full that's good uh, so yeah, there is. It is a case of being just completely efficient with everything we do, and uh, and that's why initially we're going to get one tractor, and we need to we need to get one tractor that is a good all rounder. Preferably, I want to buy it, um, but if it turns out to be too expensive, we may have to get an all rounder initially that uh, that is hired, uh, which is fine absolutely fine that is 
uh, but it, it needs to be one that we can that we can sort of use and is it's going to be inexpensive for us to use uh, i'm really quite loving this lexian uh this 760 is uh, very nice i think this is different to the one that we've got on metagrove it must be i think the one we got on metagrove is a smaller one i think it's the 540 but uh, it will suit us well on here, I think. It is chomping through this field rather nice and quickly. Which is good. We want a, a combine that will cut through this and get this job done uh, nice and quick. So, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to get the headlands cut out. And then uh, we'll get ourselves to a full tank. And we'll go and find ourselves a tractor. We've knocked nearly two headlands out. We are 92% full. So what I'm going to do is at the end of this headland, uh, we're going to bring, uh, we're going to stop the combine there. Uh, and we're going to go and, uh, well, we're going to pick ourselves a tractor, a nice all-round tractor. Uh, it's, uh, there we go. So do that, 97%. That will do us nicely. So out comes our auger. We want to cut in next. Uh, and uh, back to the shop and have a look. So we want a medium-sized tractor. Um, the the Pro Series that is uh, is actually really nice. Um, but medium-sized tractors, it's oh wow! Look at that, thirty-three thousand five hundred for the Fiat Agri. Now this would be an absolutely cracking tractor for us to have as an all-rounder. I'm really quite pleased with the price of it. 175 horsepower. That is brilliant. Um, I'm not sure what that design change does. Nope. I can see no difference that that does. Um, what I want to know is does this have a front loader? Oh, nice. Interesting choices for that. Uh, that's a bracket, I think, with the uh, the extra, the top and the bottom bits on it. Uh, GPS front loader attacher. Yes, we can. So we want to put the front loader attacher on this. Um, we're not going to put the global positioning system on it at the moment because that would th make it too expensive for us to buy. Wheel brands, uh, Nokians or Trellborgs. Fantastic wheel setup. Now, can we go... Yes, we can have narrow tyres on here as well. Brilliant. This tractor is absolutely what we need. Completely and utterly. That is uh, That makes me very, very happy. There are a couple of... Yeah, I'm not sure what those differences are um, at all. Oh, there we go. It's either hydraulic bits at the back or uh, just the regular ones. So we'll leave it with the regular ones. And then that is that rear attachment. We will take that because that is going to be... Uh, I don't know, actually. That might be more useful to us, I think. So uh, we'll go with that. And the engine, the 180-90. Uh, oh, wow. An extra 10,000. Yeah. An extra 10,000 for the bigger engine. We will leave the engine at the moment as it is. Uh, yeah, like that. That is perfect. So there we go. We're going to buy this tractor because we want to be able to reconfigure it. So that's perfect. Uh, then we need to go back and we want to have a look in our garage. Uh, no, not in our garage. Uh, in here. And we need ourselves a trailer. Now, we want something about 20, that holds about uh, 22,000 litres. Um, now, what do we have here? We've got the metal tech there that holds 24,000. I would like one that is not a dolly if I can get away with it. The Marshall, there we go, 22,200 litres. Um, that Marshall, absolutely perfect for what we're after. Again, we're going to lease this. We could get it in the... Uh, we can get in the Fiat Agri colours as well, actually. That looks really nice. Wheel brand knocking. Uh, wow. Adds a lot of money if we have anything other than knockings on it. Uh, standard lighting. High visibility. Uh, side lighting. Uh, standard lighting we'll go with. Uh, no wheel archers versus painted archers. Uh, versus galvanised. I quite like the galvanised archers on it, actually. Um, cover, we don't really need a cover, I don't think. 
so we'll leave the cover on it. Uh, we've got no flashing beacon and back mudguards adds another 300. No, we'll go with that. That will do us very nicely for that, Marshall. I like that a lot. So let's buy that trailer as well. Oh, no, we're going to lease this trailer. Sorry. Leasing trailers, not a big expense. So that is great. So back to our shop. Where we got our Fiat Agri with its nice, nicely colored trailer. Oh, perfect sound on this as well. Really liking the sound of this. So, handbrake off. This is going to be a great little all-round tractor for us. And it is exactly what I wanted. A tractor that was inexpensive yet nicely powerful. Almost got it back to the field now. And uh, yeah, I'm really loving the interior of this Fiat Agri. This is really nice. Kind of wish the Fiat Agri symbol was on the steering wheel. But uh, otherwise, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely fantastic. So uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a great combination for us going forwards. Because look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. So let's empty out our combine like so so this will take full two two full tanks off of our combine uh which is absolutely brilliant listen to that purr right so yeah we're gonna stop this here so that is the only piece of equipment we own, and we've only spent six hundred thousand. We've we've got a we got our farm really off to a cracking start, having spent only six hundred thousand, which is amazing. And we've got a combine here, of course, that has GPS on it. So what we can do now is we will line ourselves up at two hundred and seventy degrees. We will activate our GPS. Turn our combine back on, lower our header down, and have a, a nice, hopefully, straight drive across the field. Set our GPS course, and uh, and away we go, which is just brilliant to be able to do that. To be able to go right, um, we're on we're on start from scratch, and we have a huge combine that we have got set to GPS as well. That's brilliant. That's absolutely wonderful. So we are in pretty good shape, I think, to go and press that. Yeah, there we go. So GPS is set and we are sticking on our 270 degree line. And we're, we're getting our first field done. So we are going to get at least 22,000 litres off this uh, field, I think. Uh, we've got two headlands got us uh, a good start. Uh, just gonna spin around on the end with these and get those two tufts spin us around set the GPS again and down we go and perfect so it's, it's set to the right width as well which is always a worry when I set the GPS I need to I need to make sure that we get that reset but it is just uh, just running really really well we're getting through this wheat uh, we're going to get a good number of bales off here as well, so we'll need to um, we'll need to get some sort of bale collection to get those off. It's I'm going to be in, I'm going to be interested to see where we are at the end of the first day in this series. Uh, we could very easily be at the point uh, where we look at it and we go, "Oh God, that's so much money that we we we'd spent on leasing stuff on this single day." How are we going to keep all these uh, all this equipment going? So you know that's that's the thing, and it's uh, real time hours that you get charged for this equipment. Uh, so it takes about two hours for us to do um, uh, for a, a single um, a single day in game when we're running at five times like this. And that's the other thing. That's the other thing. I reason I run at five times. If we ran at slower than five times we wouldn't have the crops to sustain the leasing on this so that that is it's that trade-off between having enough time to do everything versus how much it costs us to do everything 
If we can keep these two things in check, then we will be good. Uh, it will work very nicely. We're up to our last full row now, and uh, we're 80% full. So I'm confident that these last two rows, uh, we're going to be able to get into the combine and uh, and get done. Uh, certainly at 11,000, uh, yeah, we'll take 11,000 litres in this. So even if we end up with a full tank, there's a little bit of extra space in our trailer on top of what the combine can do. So that is uh, that is very much uh, a situation where I'm not worried. Uh, we've got we're in a good place with this. Uh, I'm very happy to have actually we've got a field that gets two full tanks off this combine. It's an absolutely cracking start. is is really really good. Uh, and I've been thinking about the main yard as well. I I think that it's one of those things where we want to buy the main yard. Once we know we're stable, once we know we've got enough coming in off this, uh, off renting what we're having to rent initially and to get ourselves set up, we know that we've got to earn so much in order to get ourselves, keep ourselves going. So we're probably going to, we're got, probably going to do a round of soybeans in here, to be honest, and, uh, and, and get that sorted and get those in here. Uh, and I'm going to do it in such a way that hopefully we don't have to change our tractor much. But we have got a tractor, of course, that we can put the care wheels on. So I'm not too worried. A sprayer, I think, is going to be an absolutely essential piece of kit. Um, we can do uh, everything that you can do with a weeder uh, and with a... Um, uh, and a uh, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a fertilizer with that. The downside is that we can't spread lime with it so with that is that is the one thing we're going to have to look at the alternative of course is to get a fertilizer spreader um and uh, a weeder and we need to i think it's going to be a balance of seeing how much those things cost to run and to use so we'll have a look at both of those we are at 93 percent, so this is all going to fit in this trailer uh, that is absolutely fantastic uh, and we can be sorted there. So there we are. Let's lift up our header, turn it off. And I think we have our, do we have our auger out? We do. Let's get that over the trailer. And we'll go and hook this up ready for next time when what we'll do is head over to probably the next closest field which is field 33 slightly smaller than this one has oats in it uh, and we get that and we want to get that harvest as well uh, what i also need to do is i need to get a baler on the back of this Th thankfully this fiat agri tractor is quite is, is, you know is not a um is no slouch in the horsepower department so we'll be able to get a baler quite nicely uh, I'm tempted to make things easy on ourselves and get ourselves a square baler, but we will see what the cost of that is going to be and how much that will cost us an hour to use. Seeing as we're baling at least two of our fields here, uh, and then it's a case of, uh, well, it's then a case of getting a probably getting a flatbed or something like that and keeping the cost down by getting a trailer that is not going to cost us the earth to keep going right combine is done let's start our tractor up and find our best place for wheat while that's starting so best location for wheat that would be the cooperative at 17 uh 717 right so where is that on our map we're flashing over that way interesting place that this is connected up to on the back i don't think the point is quite right yeah i think this tractor needs a small adjustment on its back because that i oh know actually that is on a wall hitch that's really interesting i wonder if you can select which one it connects to but yeah it's slightly off to the side but uh it is correct we might have to customise ourselves and uh, and change that. But that's interesting. 
I didn't know that was going to do that. Thankfully, we can customise this tractor. So, uh, that makes me quite happy, actually. 95% full on this. 21,000. So, that should be about 14, maybe nearly 15,000. No, it will be. It'll be over 15,000 we get for this, I think. Uh, which would be good. Which, yeah, which would be very nice uh, to get over 15,000 off our first field. Uh, that goes a long way to paying back for this tractor. And actually, alternatively, goes a long way for playing, paying for the initial uh, cost of the combine. Uh, the oats will be lower, of course. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so this is where we are going to be tipping these. Like, so into here. So this is the cooperative. And we tip. Is that tipping? No. There we go. Now that's tipping. So that's fantastic. Let's see how much we uh, get off our very first harvest. We're looking to turn things around here pretty quickly. So that's why I want to get the bales off. 15,083. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's brilliant. That is our first harvest done and dusted. Starting from scratch, we still have 46,000 left. We have a hundred thousand pound loan. Next time, we will be bailing up that, uh, bailing up the straw on the wheat and getting the combine uh, going on field 33. Um, until then, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.